know. Actually, yeah, this morning when I went out to walk the dogs, it was kind of warm. Kind of the yeah. same as yesterday, but I know that things are going to kind of continue that way for a little bit. Yeah, and you may have noticed it felt a little bit more muggy. Yes. We're replacing our dry air mass with mm, some humidity. more saturated air. Yeah, the humidity is on its way back. Now, we are dry right now as we get our morning started as far as rainfall goes. Live drop with 13 radar is still pretty quiet, but I do want to take a step out here and kind of Talk about what's moving in our direction. We've had high pressure and control, and that's what's kept the sky clear and our quiet conditions over the past few days. But now we're starting to increase cloud cover as our next weather system approaches, already bringing rain into the very southern extent of the state. It looks pretty widespread right now, but what's going to happen is this uh, rain to our south interacts with this drier air that we've had in place through central Indiana, and a lot of that's going to cut into the rain coverage. Still going to see that chance of some stray showers developing today, but it's not not going to be an all day washout by any means. We'll increase our rain chance to around 20%. Keep in mind that's a coverage area. So throughout all of central Indiana, 20% of the area will see a stray shower from noon to 2. I'm going to ramp that up to around 40% by 4 p.m. I believe that's going to be that best time frame uh, to potentially see this. So keep in mind, uh, again, there's going to be a lot of dry time today. Would not cancel any of those plans just yet. Well, let's walk you through this timeline. As the cloud cover increases, this is going to take us through noon today. Notice the stray showers, but a lot of dry area around that. Temperatures will still recover back into the mid 80s today as we see that next round. This is around 5 p.m. of these stray pop ups develop Thing. And that's going to continue into the early evening for us tonight as we still will be uh, getting this moisture pumped into the area. So again, rain chance today stays low, but we're not going to be completely dry like yesterday. 84 year high in Indy later this afternoon we will go 86 in Muncie where we see a little bit more sunshine versus cloud cover from north to south. It'll be a little bit warmer to areas north around 86 in Kokomo. Heading into the evening tonight, again, a stray shower could potentially put a brief damper on your grilling plans. Otherwise, we'll call it mostly cloudy as temperatures drop out of the 80s. We'll go 78 degrees by 8 p.m. Your sunset tonight around 9 11 p.m. Let's take you into tomorrow because this unsettled pattern continues pretty much all week long. Each and every day, we're going to have that daily shower and storm chance. Just tomorrow, we're going to have more clouds around. Cloud cover is going to be a little thicker. And that rain coverage area is going to be a little bit more widespread. So that's going to hinder your temperature a bit. Only looking at highs in the lower 80s tomorrow. Here's the timeline as we get you into your Monday. Still a mostly cloudy start to the day. Here come those scattered showers that are going to redevelop with the heat of the afternoon. This is at 5 p.m. Again, rain chance around 50% for your Monday. Same deal as we head into Tuesday. A relatively dry start to the day with rain redeveloping with the heat of the afternoon for your Tuesday. We're also going to increase that humidity factor. Here's this area of low pressure that's going to be our weather influence over the next several days. It's going to bring in this surge of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, keeping everything just fairly unstable as it stays stationary through the lower Midwest and the Great Lakes region, which is why we're going to not only keep rain around all week, we're going to keep this muggy meter up in that near miserable category as our dew points climb close to the 70 degree mark. So we're going to feel more humid through the week. Daytime highs in the low to mid 80s with daily shower and storm chances. This pattern looks like it finally might break into next weekend, calling for a high back near 86.